Hello everyone. Welcome to Endless Learning. Today, we are going to explore understanding the operations and principles of stable diffusion. This is our sixth video in the stable diffusion video series. We've already covered all the basic interfaces in our previous video. Let's dive into today's class. There are two ways to create an image in stable diffusion. One is text to image and the other is image to image. Type positive and negative prompts in the text to image option. To understand positive and negative prompts better, watch lesson two in this YouTube video series. Generate an image of a peaceful and serene lakeside at sunset, capturing the reflection of the vibrant colors in the water. Include details such as a small wooden dock, a lone canoe tied to the dock, and distant mountains in the background. The overall mood should convey tranquility and the beauty of nature. Negative prompt? Do not create an image with busy city scenes, crowded places, or any form of urban environment. Avoid including cars, buildings, or any technology-related elements. Next, set the sampling steps to 35. Generating an image with more steps leads to a clearer picture, albeit with a longer generation time. On the other hand, Fewer steps make the process quicker, but may result in a less detailed image. Now adjust the CFG scale, classifier free guidance scale, which controls the adherence of the generated image to the input text prompt. A higher CFG scale, such as 24, ensures the image closely matches the prompt details, creating a more faithful representation. Conversely, a lower CFG scale allows for more creative or abstract interpretations by the model. Let's proceed and see how these settings work in generating an image. Stable Diffusion creates images from your text prompts. Observe this image depicting a lakeside sunset with the sun's reflection in the water and at a solitary canoe. Next, we will see how to enhance details using curly braces and square brackets in Stable Diffusion. Curly braces are used to specify essential elements in the image. The curly braces contain specific details that the image must include, such as neon lights and towering skyscrapers. This guides the AI to include these elements in the image. Generate the image. Let's observe the generated image and see how it emphasizes neon lights and skyscrapers, highlighting these elements prominently. We can use additional curly braces to assign greater weight to specific elements in the prompt. Notice how the generated image places more. Emphasis on these details compared to the previous one, but it's generated completely different. Use the seed option. Seed is like a recipe for making an image. If you use the same seed again, you get the same image. If you set the seed to one, you get a different random image each time. Using the same seed again, means you can make the exact same image more than once. Now it's generate an image similar to old image. An alternative way to assign importance to elements in an image is to use a single curly brace at the end of the prompt and assign numerical values to each element, indicating their relative importance. This method yields an output similar to using multiple curly braces effectively prioritizing the elements. We can assign negative values by changing curly braces to square brackets. Indicating to the AI that these elements should be given less importance in the image. We used square brackets with negative values for elements like neon lights and skyscrapers. We signal to the AI to de-emphasize these features in the image. Actually, square brackets are used to define the mood, style, or atmosphere in the image. When you aim to highlight these atmospheric elements, you can use square brackets with positive values to emphasize their importance. In this image, I added positive values after whispers of nature, which made the AI emphasize nature. Now, I will shift these positive values to foggy morning to prompt the AI to generate a more foggy image. We can apply these options in a negative prompt as well, adjusting the values to de-emphasize certain elements, thereby guiding the AI to reduce their prominence in the image. 
In our next segment, we will explore how to generate text prompts from an image. Take a look at this image I downloaded from the internet. We will learn what kind of text prompt to use to create an image like this. In Stable Diffusion, you can upload an image to the PNG Info option to view its source code. By selecting Send to Text to Imagey, the prompt from the image is automatically copied to the Text to Image tab. You can then modify the prompt as desired and regenerate the image. This process allows the AI to generate an image similar to the one you uploaded. Another method is visit civitai.com where you can view a variety of images. Select the image you wish to recreate. On this here, you can see all the settings, including positive and negative prompts used for that image. You can copy these settings and paste them into Stable Diffusion to recreate a similar image. Check out this image generated by a specific model in Stable Diffusion. Make sure to download and install this model in your Stable Diffusion setup. For downloading, go to civitai.com and download the necessary file. Click Generate to see the final output. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.